Macbeth is one of the greatest stories of crime and punishment ever written. It's also, I think, a love story. When they're plotting, I really find it fascinating that Macbeth is so uh, in wonder at and admiring of how detailed a plot his wife has concocted. He says at one point, uh, I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, only ambition. She sees that in him, and she is the one who uh, convinces him and presses him to act. It is, it's a love story. There's a, she wants everything for him, he wants everything for her, and she sees that he just needs um, maybe a little nudging. The language is very often about how um, prowess in war or action or uh, resolve is very manly. Um, and to be um, womanly is to be outside um, the overt power of decision making or of authority. That said, the women in this play are anything but weak. They speak up. Um, their power is in their tongue. Their power is in their words. It's not always necessarily about what it means to be a man. It also has to do with what is the right thing to do for one's family. What is the right thing to do for um, one's children. What is the empowered thing to do? especially as war is raging elsewhere, but still touches us, to be asking audiences to examine what it means to seek power without conscience is something that the young company is really ready to tackle.